Secret Weapons, and today we are taking a look at the Delta II Harmonic Tremolo from Spaceman FX. I think that my favorite videos on this channel are ones where we take a classic effect or a pedal that is kind of known for doing one thing and find a way to come at it from a completely different angle. Uh, a good example of this would be the GFI Rossi video uh, from a, a week or two back on this channel. Uh, an, an effect pedal known for being kind of a traditional auto wall envelope filter style pedal that we then took and applied in very slow moving lo-fi ambient drone soundscapey areas. Uh, and I really enjoyed the process of unlocking some of that and, and kind of finding non-traditional uses for what is considered to be a very traditional effect. Today we're doing a very similar thing with the Spaceman Delta II. This is a dual pole harmonic tremolo that has a ton of unique textures and interesting uh, movement opportunities under the hood. At its core, this thing is incredibly straightforward. Single foot switch, uh, very basic control scheme. You've got one three-way switch, uh, two small uh, controls right here, and three kind of standard controls. Um, you could use this if you wanted to almost entirely as a very traditional amplitude style tremolo with two parameters. If you set that lag and that resonance at zero, put that frequency in the middle and leave that voice switch in the middle, you basically have a rate and depth two knob trem that sounds really good. Uh, it can get really subtle or really deep. It can go really slow, like very, very beautifully slow or way too fast, way faster than you would ever need it to. But that's like level zero of what this thing is capable of doing. That frequency control allows you to pinpoint exactly what frequencies you are um, raising and lowering with those LFOs. That voice control up top lets you decide whether or not you want to apply those two LFOs for that tremolo to your dries and your lows, your dries and your highs, or your highs and your lows. It is astonishing how different each of those voicings sounds and within each of those settings, how many different tonal characteristics and frequencies you are controlling using that frequency control over here. It's astonishing. You can use it to drive an amp harder. You can get beautiful, soft textures or very, very striking, sharp sounding textures just between that voice and that frequency control. That frequency control can then be made a lot more subtle or a lot more aggressive using that little resonance uh, control underneath it. And likewise, you on the other side, you have the lag, which I think is like the secret sauce of this, which allows you to take those two LFOs from running in parallel with one another and progressively move them out of phase with one another until they are 180 degrees at odds with one another. Basically meaning like when your lows are at their lowest point in the LFO trough, your highs are at their peak, uh, which can give you some really great, especially with those super slow rate controls, can give you great slow moving evolving tremolos that never actually zero out your audible signal. And when we talk about slow rate controls on, the, on this thing, that's where that really comes in, in handy. Being able to set really interesting combinations of voice, frequency, resonance, and lag for almost slow moving filters or borderline kind of like super slow phaser sounds, but done with total high quality accuracy and vibe inside of the Delta II because you have all of this control over your voicing, your frequency, and your resonance. It's it's really something special. You've also got an expression control down here uh, to control parameters on this thing. Although it is worth saying, uh, you select your parameters using an internal dip switch. So you have to open the back of this thing and you can only control the depth or the rate, which is kind of a bummer. I really, really would have loved to be able to control the frequency control with an expression pedal, but uh, as far as I'm aware, that is not an option on this pedal. That lag control also has some even more dramatic uses though, beyond just being able to push the two poles out of phase with one another. Uh, it, during startup, you can press down your uh, bypass switch while applying power, and that lag control becomes a four stage alternate function for those pole positions, giving you uh, half and full time uh, LFO rates or half and full time, but offset by one beat. It, it makes more sense when you hear it uh, there at the end of the video, there'll be a timestamp in the video itself, but they are fascinating, interesting, unique approaches to harmonic tremolo. And I think that's what makes this so interesting to me and so compelling, not just for traditional tremolo uses, 
but beyond that. Everybody who knows Spaceman knows them for being a high quality brand. Uh, the effects that they take on, the things that they go after, they tend to do with clinical precision. They're, they're high quality, well-engineered, well-designed circuits. They do classic sounds incredibly well. But something like the Delta II does something interesting, which is a step beyond a classic circuit done well. There are sounds in here that I've never associated with harmonic tremolo. There are sounds in here that I'm not convinced have ever come out of a classic harmonic tremolo. And I find that fascinating. I find that worth indulging and engaging with. Like I said, you can get your classic amplitude and harmonic tremolo sounds out of the Delta II. You can get some really basic styles of trem out of this thing, but there's a lot of really interesting non-traditional applications available to you inside of this. So we're going to explore a bunch of those in this video and uh, hopefully you'll find something in here that you didn't expect to hear. Let's go to the sound samples. So before we jump into the Delta II, let's go ahead and talk through our signal chain and uh, give a listen to our context and our clean tone. Uh, I am running on my board the Walrus Mira Compressor, the Benson Germanium Boost, the Brown Amplification Carbon, the Quiet Theory Prelude into the Harmonic Tremolo, the Delta II. Uh, from there we go to the Microcosm, the L Cap, and the Big Sky all in stereo, out to a separate board that has uh, the Strymon Flint and our two amps, which are the Universal Audio Ruby and Dream in a stereo pair. From there, we go to our DAW, which is Universal Audio's Luna, where we have a uh, Neve 1073 preamp uh, to kind of like boost our signal. And I am playing my Baum Wingman with Jabmaster pickups. Uh, we're mostly going to stick to just the Germanium boost for our clean tone, uh, or in kind of our dry tone. Uh, the L cap and the Big Sky will be on mostly throughout, set pretty subtly. This is what those three sound like together. Uh, we will use the quiet theory here and there, and we'll probably have it set a little bit non subtly like this. You're hearing a lot more delay and reverb mixed into that, uh, and the reason for that is to kind of put some wet effects in front of our trem to kind of accentuate the, uh, the intensity of the tremolo even when I'm not playing. Uh, but we'll keep those off as we kind of run through some of the core stuff and we'll bring them in kind of to taste and to flavor. So the way we're going to start this off is from simple to complex. We're going to start things off with just depth and rate controls with that frequency at noon and that voice control at noon. No lag, no resonance, uh, just to kind of get a sense of your kind of your basic tremolo parameters. From there, we will kind of bring in that voice toggle and how it kind of interacts with that frequency control. Uh, at which point we'll start to bring in the lag and at, and following the lag, the resonance, and then we'll wrap things up by um, jumping into the alternate modes for that lag control. So we have that voice set to the middle position, which is controlling the highs and lows, uh, and we have our resonance and our lag off. Let's give the uh, depth and rate controls a listen. What I really dig is, depending on your settings on here, especially with that voice in the middle position, you can get really great traditional amplitude-based tremolo sounds out of this thing. Like, that's, that's very, very kind of standard issue tremolo right there. And it's not until you start kind of messing with that voice and the lag controls that you start getting into really obvious uh, harmonic tremolo settings. And then from there, you can kind of do some really crazy stuff, but we will get there. The depth control can be really, really subtle or really extreme. It's 
Let's bring this on in front so that we can really hear. how slow this thing gets. And we'll get to why a rate that slow matters a lot in a little bit. It speeds up fast though. Okay, let's take a look at this, uh, the frequency control on this thing. And this is where the Delta II starts getting really interesting, even when you have these very, uh, very amplitude sounding tremolo sounds where you're not using that lag or that resonance in any meaningful way. That frequency just creates such a variety of uh, like timbres to the tremolo itself, which is really interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's jump over to another voice. So that middle position, like we said earlier, uh, is controlling the highs and the lows of this harmonic trem. If we go to our left position on the switch, we are controlling the high frequency and the dry tone, leaving only the low end untouched. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's amazing how kind of forward or gentle or angular you can kind of make your, your bass level tone with that frequency control. To go from that, like that even breaks up the amp faster because it's just pushing more frequencies more aggressively. side you have your lows and your dry So let's talk about that lag control. Uh, we've got our depth up a little bit and our rate down a little bit farther. We've put our frequency back at the center just so that we're kind of not losing track of anything by, by grabbing too disparate or too high or too low of the frequencies. Um, here's what our tremolo sounds like right now. Very traditional sounding. Um, but one of the things you'll notice is um, that lag control uh, is going to have a visual indicator of where you're at that uh, the jewel in the center of the pedal, the bypass, which is pulsating in time and in depth of brightness in keeping with the depth and the rate of the Delta II. And you're noticing that it's a blue and a red. As we increase this lag control, the two poles of the uh, voice control, either you're low and you're high, you're low and you're dry, or you're high and you're dry, uh, are represented by blue and red in that jewel respectively. So as we increase this lag control, you will see they start to uh, kind of blink out of phase with one another. And that's because that lag control is actually pushing the LFOs of those respective frequency poles uh, away from each other up to 180 degrees where they are completely perpendicular to one another. Um, they're like, they're, they're, their troughs and their peaks are at exact opposites. But there's a lot of cool textural rhythmic stuff to be found in the middle. So let's go ahead and, and kind of like listen through some of that. Thank you. 
And then obviously they can go fully out of phase with one another. And one of the things that I really like about this is you can keep changing the timbre of that with that frequency control. And then bring that, that, that rate way low, which is one of the things I was using a lot on that intro track. And that depth control will actually help you kind of tame that down if you want it to not get quite so high passy and low passy. some of that resonance now. And it's amazing, that voice control has such a strong impact on what's happening. We're in that center position. And we can jump over. Thank you. 
you'll notice uh, as you bring that lag down, uh, especially with really slow rate moments, that's where you're gonna get the most like kind of dead air in that low trough of the tremolo. Like right there, I'm strumming. And it's totally gone right there and it comes back. But as you push those further out of phase with one another, keeps you from really losing all of your signal, which is really handy. probably showcase that it can actually do normal harmonic tremolo things as well in creative ways but I mean, if, if you can hear what i'm hearing here yes harmonic tremolo in a traditional sense is really cool but what makes the delta so interesting to me and i'm sure i've said this already in this video is the slow moving non-traditional filter sound designy stuff in here is really cool and it's way more interesting to me than just kind of being able to spin up a normal harmonic trem it's great that you can do that in this pedal but i really like these big slow moving evolving textures getting into like the classical like soupy harmonic trims. Okay, the way we're gonna round out this video is by taking a look at the alternate modes uh, for that lag control. So when you power up the Spaceman Delta II, if you're holding down the uh, foot switch while you apply power or power on your pedal board from the side, it will boot up with the lag control uh, doing an alternate thing, which we discussed earlier in this video, which is uh, instead of it progressively pushing your two LFOs out of phase, it becomes four different uh, modes of phase misalignment. Uh, mode one, the LFO output one runs at normal speed while the second one runs at half speed. Mode two is going to be uh, the same thing but an off beat from one another. Uh, output three is going to be two running at normal speed and uh, one running at half speed, so basically the inverse. And then number four is going to be the same thing but again off a beat from one another, which gives you a lot of very interesting and almost unpredictable sounding textures and rhythms, which is really, really cool. So let's give it a listen. Mm -hmm.
So you can hear that the low frequencies, the LFO on the low frequency is running at twice the speed as the high frequency. What's fascinating here is the amount of rhythmic difference from mode to mode on this or from voice to voice. So like making no changes but that voice control. And now they are offset by one beat. the 